What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. Today I've got another golden weapon review for you. This one is on the MR6 pistol. Now I was extremely reluctant to use this weapon. I'm not usually too great with handguns, especially the semi-automatic handguns, and I wasn't really looking forward to using this weapon. Now once I started using it, I found that it was actually pretty great. This is probably the best pistol in the game, and it might actually be one of the best guns overall in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So you might be surprised by this video, and I hope you stick around and learn a little bit more about it. So the number one strength of the MR6 pistol is in the fire rate. It has an extremely high fire cap. I don't know if that's what you guys know it as. That's how I, that's what I call it. There are a bunch of different names for it called by different YouTubers, different gun specialists, whatever you want to call it. I call it the fire stop. It's when the fire when a semi-automatic weapon will stop firing as fast as you pull the trigger and it will actually slow itself down in a Call of Duty game. So basically, weapons of this nature, semi-automatics, they usually have a pretty low fire stop. When you're pulling the trigger, it'll just suddenly, no bullets will come out and you'll be like, why isn't it firing? And then a the bullet will finally come out and it won't really catch up with how fast you're pulling the trigger. The Shiva is a perfect example of this. The Shiva has an extremely low fire stop. It will only fire like extre like extremely slow. So if you had like a modern controller or a wicked trigger, trigger finger, you're just going to be firing it slower than it can actually fire. The MR6, on the other hand, is extremely different. The MR6 has an extremely high fire stop, and it will just completely dominate anybody as long as you have a high trigger, a very fast trigger finger or a modded controller. This thing will fire as fast as you pull the trigger, no matter what, you can just spam. If you can spam, if you're good with the ladies, this one's going to be a really good one for you. So... It's a very, very fast firing weapon. As long as you can keep your accuracy up with that fire rate, this is going to be an amazing weapon. It makes for an amazing primary or secondary weapon, depending on how you use it. But let's talk a little bit more about the stats before we get into recommendations. So it's got very, very high damage. It's the highest damage of any of the pistols. It's also got the longest range of any of the pistols, the largest magazine capacity of any of the pistols tied with the LCAR 9, and it has the most predictable recoil of up and right. It's a maximum five shot kill versus the six shot kill of the other two pistols in this game, and it's on average going to be a four shot kill for you. So what does all of this mean in terms of using this weapon? Well, the MR6 is definitely the preferred the preferred secondary weapon to use as a primary weapon. So if you're not gonna take a primary, if you wanna run just a pistol, the MR6 is the best for solo builds. It's going to run better than any of the other pistols with a suppressor. It's going to reduce that one shot to kill. So with a suppressor, this might take five or six shots to kill versus the six or seven shots to kill that the other two pistols might take. So this one is going to be really, really great with the suppressor. And um, it's, going to be, it's going to make for an outstanding secondary weapon outside of close quarter combat. If you're going to use an SMG or assault rifle and you just need a secondary backup to take out an enemy at longer range or to put the last shot on an enemy when you run out of ammo, this one is going to be your, your pistol of choice. However, if you're using like a sniper rifle or an LMG and you need something for really close range engagements, I would not recommend this pistol. So it's great for finishing off longer ranged enemies, and it's the best for using as a solo weapon. So it is the recommended secondary weapon for primary SMGs, shotguns, and assault rifles. If you're going to use any of those primary weapons and you're looking to add a secondary pistol, use the MR6. Now, as we get towards the recommendation section of this video, I need to make a brief side note. Obviously, I couldn't truly showcase this weapon being a secondary weapon in the gameplay, so the gameplay you're seeing is the primary, quote-unquote, primary version of this weapon. What I mean by that is that I'm not actually running a primary weapon. I'm only running the MR6 in the secondary slot, making it my primary weapon. Now, for the recommendations, I'm going to be recommending some attachments and perks and class recommendations for both a primary version and a secondary version of this weapon. So if you're planning on running this weapon as its own thing, no other primary weapons, you're only going to run the MR6, I'm going to recommend some things for that. I'm also going to be recommending if you're going to use this weapon as a sidearm, how you should use it as a sidearm, some attachments and perks and whatever you might need for running it as a sidearm. Another little side note is that my personal variant, the secret, which we're going to be talking about towards the end of this video, doesn't really lend itself to either version of this weapon. It's not necessarily a primary version it's not necessarily a secondary version but it is 
it is just the best way that I found to run this weapon. Now, it probably is going to lend itself easier to the primary versions of this weapon because it's going to have more attachments to make it a little bit better, but it really can be used in either section. So without further ado, let's start with the primary version of this weapon. So although a wicked trigger finger can make this weapon really competitive with assault rifles and SMGs, it will likely still get outclassed by the two as well as shotguns at close quarters combat. So what you're going to want to do with the primary version of this weapon is play the stealth game. You're going to want to strap on a suppressor, some stealth perks like ghost, blast suppressor. You're probably going to want fast hands and attack from behind. What you're going to want to do is play game modes like free for all or search and destroy or objective based game modes where the enemies are kind of focused in the middle so you can run around the outskirts of the map and shoot them in the back you're going to want to run probably high caliber or long barrel to positively affect the negative effects that the suppressor gives the pistol which is reducing the range with high caliber you can up the shots to kill with long with long barrel you can almost inverse the effects of suppressor making it just a stealthy weapon without any negative effects either one of those works they're both great attachments you're probably going to want to run the throwing axe if you can use it if you can't use the throwing axe never mind i said that but if you're effective at using the throwing axe Definitely make sure you use that as well. It's the only suppressed lethal weapon, and it's definitely going to help you when you're behind enemies and there's a lot of enemies that you need to take out. This weapon might not be the best for that, so a throwing axe can definitely help. And uh, the last two perks that you're going to want to use are Tracker and Scavenger. Tracker is going to make you be able to see enemy footprints, so you'll be able to track enemies easier, obviously. And Scavenger can be useful because this weapon, although it is semi-automatic, it will run out of ammo pretty quickly, and you don't want to do that. Especially if you're using this as a primary weapon, it doesn't come with a lot of bullets. And when you run out of ammo, you're going to be really, really sorry because it's kind of hard to play with nothing but fists in this game. So definitely run Scavenger as well. As far as classes pertaining to this weapon being a secondary weapon, I would highly suggest that you make your class to relate to the primary weapon of your class. So make it so it really focuses on the sniper rifle or the LMG, assault rifle, whatever you're using with this weapon. Make your class focus on it more than the pistol, but still try to include a couple things for your pistol. Include a suppressor or quick draw. Those are two great ideas. Quick draw is great if you're switching to the pistol a lot, which you should should be doing that's what a pistol is really for is when you need to switch your pistol out if someone gets too close to you you can switch to your pistol if someone uh is if you're firing at somebody and you run out of ammo you can switch to your pistol switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading a primary weapon so quick draw can make it really really nice if you need to switch to your pistol it'll cut down the time of aiming back down the sights again now, a couple of attachments that you might want to stay away from regardless of this weapon being a primary or secondary weapon are dual wield, FMJ, and laser sight. Dual wield and laser sight because the weapon should never be hip fired. It's not meant for hip firing. If you're hip firing, I just go away because I don't like you. Do not hip fire this weapon. It's really, really bad at hip firing. And even with dual wield, you're not going to have an advantage. Always aim down the sights with this weapon. That being said, you should never use optics either. I find that the recoil just seems increased when I'm aiming down the sights. I don't know if that's just me, but it just doesn't seem like a great weapon to be using in ADS with optics so don't run an optic don't run dual wield or laser sight fmj is completely pointless on this weapon you wouldn't be able to kill an enemy shooting through a wall if you tried now let's talk about my personal variant that would be the secret variant and i run suppressor and long barrel we already talked about those things so i don't need to go over that again and um that's about it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i if you did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next golden weapon review